another significant board swing. But there's Plague Doomsayer. Spring Arbor has Spellbreaker in hand. Actually, that's just 5, 10, 13, 16. Nah, that's, yep, just, that's just game. That's just game. All right, so Purdue has managed to tie this one up, and we are going to game number five. Look at them, head in hands. They look a little stressed, but they have a chance to take this one back in the final matchup. Don't make me I sound stupider than we I already were, sound, Jay. I got okay. concerned that we were taking nine to the Yeah, Phoenix we're going to hero power. We're going to put this. We're going to put ourselves in one, but we're okay. Oh my oh, goodness, that's that's game. game. Okay. We could it have was... taken the other one damage. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> would have made the game quicker. <laughs> but anyway, quicker. quicker by approximately four <laughs> seconds. seconds. Well, I think the reason that they're going for this play, and I kind of agree with it, is that you need to taunt up. You need to make sure that you are staying alive, which Doomguard picked up is... They're not, but they would have either way. Uh, they probably had the read that it, they would have Doomguard earlier in the game, unless they top decked it. Yeah. So they were hoping, you know what, we need to go wide on the board, answer this board, and then when they have only one big minion to play, now, there is merit to not hero powering, and the reason I say that, actually, I'm gonna say hero powering was probably wrong here because if they get unlicensed Apothecary. Did they change that interaction or did they I not? Think it, I think if you evolve with the spell, it doesn't work. But when you throw Death Seer, it still works. Okay, that's an issue. Those are really good, though. And so what they could have done. As far as eight drops go, that's pretty solid. That's, that was the two eight eight taunts on top of a four nine charger that gets bigger is pretty good. Um, I will say though that I think the interaction still works where you would take a lot of damage. And I really like what Rutgers is going for here. This They're going to shadow step the Bone Mare, make sure they have it for future turns on top of clearing their opponent's entire board. And you know what? I, I still think, although it's looking pretty dominant for Temple right now, we still got a game on our hands. 